Big news has now arrived on Gunners, you want to know all the details so follow me until the end of the video. But first if you are in love with Arsenal show your love and subscribe to THE channel now and turn on notifications. Here we post daily news and behind the scenes of the biggest club in THE Premier League Arsenal. Thank you. West Ham has three reasons to help Arsenal secure the Premier League title against Man City. West Ham United could lend Arsenal a huge favour on Sunday by taking points off Manchester City in the final match of the Premier League season. Arsenal is two points behind City heading into the last day, with City hosting the Hammers and Arsenal playing Everton at home. City only needs a win to secure their fourth consecutive title, but if they drop points and Arsenal wins, the Gunners will lift the crown for the first time in 20 years. Arsenal's chances seemed slim after Tottenham's 2-0 loss to City on Tuesday. However, unlike their North London rivals, West Ham has a bit more motivation to perform against City, which could work in Arsenal's favour. Here are three compelling reasons why West Ham might just rise to the occasion. David Moy's swan song. Sunday's match will be David Moy's last as West Ham's manager, with Julian Lopetegui set to take over for the 2024-25 campaign. Moyes, who has been in charge for four and a half seasons, plus an additional half season in 2017-18, will be managing his 261st and final game for the Hammers. This amicable parting has left players and fans eager to give Moyes a memorable send-off with a strong performance and possibly three points against City. Doing it for Declan Rice. West Ham fans were sad to see Declan Rice leave, but understood his need for growth, especially with a £105 million transfer fee. Rice has been a crucial part of Arsenal's squad this season, proving his worth time and again. Helping Arsenal win the Premier League in his first season would be a fitting nod from the club that nurtured him. While West Ham might want to honour Moyes in his final game, Moyes himself might be keen to assist his former captain, Mikel Arteta, in securing the title. The Moyes-Arteta connection. Arteta spent six and a half years at Everton under Moyes, even serving as captain in his final two years. This strong bond could be a motivating factor. Arteta expressed his gratitude in a pre-game press conference, saying, he has been crucial and very important in my career, both as a footballer and as a person. He can help us achieve our dream and my personal dream of winning the Premier League. With these factors in play, West Ham has more than enough reason to push for a result against Manchester City, potentially paving the way for Arsenal to clinch a historic Premier League title. Arsenal's Premier League title hopes dented by West Ham injury concerns ahead of Man City clash. Arsenal's hopes for a dramatic final day turnaround in the Premier League have taken a significant hit due to a major injury concern at West Ham United. Reports suggest that West Ham forward Jared Bowen is doubtful for the crucial match against Manchester City, having been struck by tonsillitis. Bowen's absence could severely weaken West Ham's chances of upsetting Pep Guardiola's side, who are aiming for their fourth consecutive Premier League title. This development is a blow to Arsenal, who need City to drop points at home for just the third time in 2024 to have any chance of claiming the title. Mikel Arteta is aware that anything less than a win against Everton at home will render City the champions regardless of other results. The match at the Etihad Stadium is set to be David Moyes' final game in charge of the Hammers, as he prepares to depart after a successful four-and-a-half-year tenure. Moyes marked his last home game with a victory over Luton just six days ago. Bowen, linked with a move away from West Ham after another impressive season, has scored 16 league goals, more than double that of any of his teammates. Despite West Ham's underwhelming campaign following their Europa Conference League triumph 12 months ago, Bowen remains a crucial player. Guardiola has previously acknowledged Bowen as one of the key threats his team must watch out for. Right now, I'm not thinking about next season because it's all about West Ham, Guardiola stated on Friday. For players up front can create something. Mohamed Kudus is an exceptional player. Bowen, for many years, and Mikhail Antonio, when he's fit, is unbelievable. Lucas Paqueta is top class because he can do so many things. All four can produce something unique and special out of nothing. That's my only focus at the moment. However, reports on the morning of the match indicate that Bowen will not be available due to illness. For Arsenal, this news doesn't alter their objective against Everton in North London but does deliver a substantial blow to their hopes of witnessing a city slip up. In conclusion, while Arsenal's task remains the same, to secure a win against Everton, the potential absence of Bowen from the West Ham lineup significantly diminishes the chances of a city stumble, making Arsenal's path to the title even more precarious. West Ham sends Arsenal a glimmer of hope for Premier League title decider against Man City. In the latest Premier League title race update, 
Arsenal's hopes have been bolstered by a crucial message from Manchester City's final day opponent, West Ham United. Arsenal is counting on West Ham to help them clinch the title at the expense of City. The Gunners trail Pep Guardiola's team by two points, necessitating a win against Everton and hoping for West Ham to steal points from City at the Etihad Stadium. Mikel Arteta's primary focus will be on securing a victory against Everton, a match within their control, while praying for a favor from his former boss, David Moyes. No, I don't think I need to do that, Arteta said when asked if he had spoken to Moyes ahead of the decisive day. But yes, he has been instrumental in my career. Not just as a football player, but as a person too. If he could help us achieve our dream and my personal dream of winning the Premier League, it would be unbelievable and he would always be in my memory, for sure. Unfortunately for Arsenal, Manchester City has been absolutely relentless between February and May, and this season is no exception. Since the beginning of 2024, City has dropped only 6 points out of a possible 51, while West Ham has struggled on their travels recently. Last weekend, West Ham secured their first win in eight games across all competitions, having lost two away league matches in that period, conceding 10 goals. However, Moy's team has not been poor on the road throughout the season, as Arsenal knows well. At the end of December, West Ham visited the Emirates Stadium and delivered an impressive performance, leading 2-0 at one point. Away from Tottenham, the reigning Europa Conference League champions also secured three points and managed to come from behind to draw against Liverpool at the London Stadium just a few weeks ago. In the reverse fixture against City, West Ham was actually leading at halftime with a goal from James Ward-Prowse. However, Jeremy Doku, Bernardo Silva, and Erling Haaland scored in the second half to snatch the victory. Nevertheless, this proves that West Ham can put themselves in a position to potentially halt City's winning run. As the final day approaches, Arsenal's destiny partly lies in the hands of West Ham. While the Gunners must focus on beating Everton, they will hold on to the hope that Moyes and his team can create a memorable upset, giving Arsenal a chance to lift the Premier League trophy for the first time in two decades. And if you follow our channel you already know that daily we bring the most exclusive news from the Arsenal front line, and if you are here new don't miss out and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything, thank you.